Hello, friends. Um, welcome to our very first YouTube video. Um, we've all been trying lots of new things and ways to connect during this time um, as we're self-isolating. And I thought I would spend a little bit of time here today uh, recording a video for you to do, uh, to watch um, whenever you have the chance. Um, whenever you feel like you might like to explore this. Uh, today, what I'm bringing to you is a practice called Lectio Divina, and it sounds very intense and complicated, but really it's incredibly simple, um, which is partly why it's something to use for the very first try of this, um, because it's fairly simple, uh, fairly simple for me to show and fairly simple for you to follow. But um, it's a age-old way of listening to God speaking to us, um, of listening to scripture in different ways, of hearing different things in scripture that we've heard thousands of times. Uh, so I thought I would bring this to you today. Um, what I, the passage I'll be using today comes from the book of Mark, chapter 4, and it'll be verses 35 through to 41. Now, I will be using one of my favorite versions of the Bible, which is the Inclusive Bible. And I chose this passage because every day at noon, the moderator of the United Church of Canada meets with ministry personnel from all across Canada, noon um, in our time zone at least. And yesterday, uh, when I was putting this together, uh, this was the passage that he used. Um, this time at noon we have with the moderator is it begins with a piece of scripture and then prayer, and then we're all invited to pray alongside him um, to lift up whatever is holding in our hearts right now. It's been a wonderful grounding time um, for me in particular as everything is upended. And so I'm really excited and I really look forward to connecting with you in this way. Um, hopefully our YouTube channel is much more easily accessed by, accessed by people um, who don't have a Facebook account um, or who just happen upon this. So friends, today I invite you to join with me in Lectio Divina of the Gospel of Mark. Um, I am going to read this piece of scripture four times for you. And each time I'll give you some instructions on how to listen or what to listen for um, and then I'll also invite you, if you would like, you're very welcome to include your comments, your thoughts in the comments below this video, or um, if you would rather, if you have a personal journal or would just like to share on a piece of paper, you're very welcome to do that. Um, or you're also just welcome to reflect on these things within your own heart and soul. That's also very acceptable. Um, please know that there are no right answers. Uh, sorry, there are no wrong answers. All answers are right. Um, this is a way of sort of listening for God. And so whatever God gives you is what you were meant to have. So consider that and know that there is zero judgment here on whatever you're hearing. Um, I just look forward to trying to practice together and connecting with one another and perhaps feeling a sense of calm and um, listening for God in the midst of, of life right now. So friends, uh, for the first reading, I would like you to sit back um, or if you're standing, uh, listening, um, just relax and listen to the words. Uh, this very first time, you're invited to simply listen to not come at it with any judgment, not feel like you have to remember everything, um, knowing that I will be saying this three additional times, um, and just simply listen to the story. Perhaps listen with new ears if it's a story you're familiar with. Um, just sit back and listen. So the Gospel of Matthew, oh, sorry, of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. Here we go. With the coming of the evening, that same day, Jesus said to the disciples, Let's cross over to the other shore. 
Leaving the crowd behind, they took Jesus in the boat in which he was sitting. There were other boats with them, and then a fierce gale arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat so much that it was almost swamped. But Jesus was in the stern through it all, sound asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said, Teacher, doesn't it matter to you that we are going to drown? Jesus awoke, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be calm. And the wind dropped, and everything was perfectly calm. Jesus then said to the disciples, Why were you so frightened? Have you no faith? But they became filled with fear and said to one another, who is this whom even the wind and seas obey? All right, so now we're going to come to this piece of scripture a second time. And this time we'll come with a little bit more of an intention. So as you listen to the words, I would invite you to listen with the ear of the heart. Notice any phrases, any sentences, or any particular words that just stand out, that capture your attention. And then, if you feel comfortable following our scripture, take a moment to write down what that word or phrase or sentence is. Um, perhaps repeat it to yourself. Uh, I'll leave some time of silence in between these readings. Um, just take, take some time with that particular word or phrase or sentence. Okay, so here we go for a second time. With the coming of the evening that same day, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross over to the other shore. Leaving the crowd behind, they took Jesus in the boat in which he was sitting. There were other boats with them. Then a fierce gale arose and the waves were breaking into the boat so much that it was almost swamped. But Jesus was in the stern through it all, sound asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said, teacher, doesn't it matter to you that we are going to drown? Jesus awoke, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, quiet, be calm. And the wind dropped and everything was perfectly calm. Jesus then said to the disciples, why are you so frightened? Have you no faith? But they became filled with fear and said to one another, who is this whom even the wind and the sea obey? So you're invited to consider that word or phrase or sentence that stood out to you. Take a moment to write it down. Um, to type it into the comments or to just hold it and repeat it to yourself. All right, as we listen to this for a third time, this time the intention uh, for you in this reading is to reflect with deep receptivity. Notice any thoughts or feelings or reflections that arise within you. Let the words resound within your heart. What might God be asking of you in this scripture? What might God be telling you? So listen to this for a third time and notice your thoughts your feelings, your reflections. With the coming of evening that same day, Jesus said to the disciples, let us cross over to the other shore. Leaving the crowd behind, they took Jesus in the boat in which he was sitting. There were other boats with them. Then a fierce gale arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat so much that it was almost swamped. But Jesus was in the stern through it all, sound asleep on a cushion. They awoke him and said, Teacher, 
doesn't it matter to you that we are going to drown? Jesus awoke, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, quiet, be calm. And the wind dropped, and everything was perfectly calm. Jesus then said to the disciples, why were you so frightened? Have you no faith? But they became filled with fear and said to one another, who is this whom even the wind and the sea obey? So please feel free, take a moment to write down that phrase, or sorry, that thought, that feeling, or that reflection that arose within you as you heard this scripture for a third time. You're welcome to engage with others who are listening to this in other times and other places. Um, you're welcome to type them into the comments below. Uh, it's a way that we can connect with one another and tell others that we were here and that we are not alone. So if you're comfortable doing that, please feel free to take a moment to write down um, or just reflect on the thoughts, feelings, and reflections that arose as you listened to this. All right, we come to our fourth and final reading of this. So with this one, I ask you to consider any prayerful responses that arise within you as you listen to this. Perhaps a prayer of gratitude, a prayer of praise, a prayer of asking for something for yourself or for someone or for the world. We call those intercessions praying for others. Listen and notice the prayers that arise within you as I read this reading for a fourth time. With the coming of evening that same day, Jesus said to the disciples, let's cross over to the other shore. Leaving the crowd behind, they took Jesus in the boat in which he was sitting. There were other boats with them. Then a fierce gale arose and the waves were breaking into the boat so much that it was almost swamped. But Jesus was in the stern through it all, sound asleep on the cushion. They woke him and said, teacher, doesn't it matter to you that we're going to drown? Jesus awoke, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, quiet, be calm. And the wind dropped and everything was perfectly calm. Jesus then said to the disciples, why were you so frightened? Have you no faith? But they became filled with fear and said to one another, who is this whom even the wind and the sea obey? If you feel comfortable, I'd love for you to take some time to write in the comments whatever prayers arose as you listen to this reading for a fourth and final time. If you don't feel comfortable, that's okay too. But feel free to write it down in a journal or just consider those thoughts. We are in a different time right now. And so one of the joys is that we get to try things differently. We cannot gather in large groups like we enjoy doing. Um, we must be physically apart and yet our spirits and our souls and our hopes and our fears and our dreams and our joy are all connected. We are the church. I am currently sitting in the sanctuary, but where you are is the church. Outside the doors of this building is the church. In your home is the church. Outside your home is the church. If you have to go to the grocery store, that is the church. 
We are the church together. Um, in these coming weeks, um, as things unfold, I'd like to find different ways to connect with you and to use this new YouTube channel. Uh, if this is something, this particular activity is something that you really enjoyed, let me know and I would be happy to do more. If there's a particular piece of scripture that you'd really like to, to dig into, let me know and I'd be happy to do a video with that. Um, I'm going to look for other ways to meet with you, to share some spiritual disciplines and just help remind one another that we're not alone, um, that God is with us. If there are other activities you would love for me to showcase, let me know that as well. And also know that if you need a little extra support in, in any way during this time or beyond, uh, please feel free to contact me. I would be more than happy to chat with you on email, Facebook Messenger, text, telephone, um, whatever ways that will help support you. I'm always here. Um, and I'm thankful to continue to be your spiritual leader, your pastor, your minister during this time. So I will sign off now and know that however you walk in this journey of life that has changed for now, that God goes with you, the love of God, the communion of Christ, and the joy and the teachings of the Holy Spirit go with you this day and forevermore. Thanks be to God, and thank you for joining me here wherever you are. Amen.